What's up guys? Coming at you with the first installment of this uh, pretty long series it's going to end up being in uh, PGA Tour 2K21. We're going to be doing the top 100 user created courses and um, I guess we'll get right into it. I got a sweet one uh, for you guys off the bat for the first, uh, first ever part of this series. It's uh, the Corinthia Club in Austria. And this is a course designed by Arctic Fury. Uh, he was a pretty prominent creator in the Golf Club 2019 uh, series. And this was actually uh, previously in that game. And I believe they've transferred it over and it should be exactly the same. So I played it a few times uh, on the tw Golf Club 2019. So. I'm hoping that it's uh, basically the same course, it looks like it, and from what I've heard, it's pretty much the exact same, so let's get into it. Hello there, my name is John, and I'm glad to have you come. Alrighty, so what I will say, too, before we start, this course is pretty much unparalleled in terms of detail and um, just thought, like the layout. Um, it's a pretty challenging course. It offers like insane views. Every hole is unique in its own way. And uh, even just off the opening tee here, you can see like all these dis disconnected fairways with the river just flowing through them. Like just such a creative and stunning design to be honest. So. We're gonna go ahead and lay up for the first shot just because I don't think with that wind I'll be able to hit that fairway and just try and get a ball out there. So it is a par five. So we'll play this smart. This course from what I learned from playing it on the golf club, it's, uh, it ver it's very deceiving. Like it looks like you can take some big risks and get rewarded. And a lot of times that's the case, but if you miss on some of these tighter shots where there's a lot of hazards and areas that you just don't want to be, you can be getting bogeys and doubles really quickly. So another little layup here, just got a nice 93 yards shot in here. Gonna just hopefully dial in a sand wedge just off this wind. Got a little bit of wind off the left. So we're gonna try and dial this in a little bit and hit a good solid shot here. This could be good. That should be all right. All righty. Nice work. That's gonna work. That. Got a birdie putt on the first hole. Can't That's complain good. about that. Hole's about 10 feet out. Looks pretty straight. Little right to left at the end. Should be able to just get the weight right on this, and it should come a little bit. Oh. Okay. Time All right. Up. Tap and par, never a bad right. thing. With the tap in. Can't complain about tap and pars. Would have been nice to have that birdie. That was a really makeable putt. But. Okay. Careful of the head. On to the next. Here. This hole is really sweet as well. Got a nice downhill. Whoa, what am I doing? Got a uh, really cool downhill dog legging par four here. And you can see, like, you can try and get aggressive with driver, which I might actually end up doing here. But it's not necessarily going to pay off, right? So I think we're going to try it. We'll go for it. We can kind of bend it around these trees. Maybe catch that hill a little bit. 91% power, that should... Here. Oh boy, no, we're headed right for the bunker. Did not put a very right. good swing on Fairway that, bunker. and now Let's we have a pretty goes. tough four iron into the green here. It is quite downhill, so I'm just going to try and let it kind of go off that slope. That should be okay. All right, and these greens are pretty damn quick too, so 
as you can tell, look at the undulations there on behind the pin. But even just like that little house in the background, all kinds of good stuff going on in this course. Honestly, this is one of those ones where you literally have to play it more than once to truly appreciate and even notice all the detail that goes into it. So this one's tracking. Slid that nice. one in there. I'm trying not to use putt preview. I am playing on like amateur difficulty right now, just for the sake of getting through these courses without being absolutely everywhere. Although that is part of it to show you guys, to kind of show off some of these amazing courses as well. But playing on amateur difficulty, so I have unlimited putt previews, probably not gonna use um, all of them, or, or sorry, I'm probably not gonna use any of them, so. This par three is insane. <laughs> Look at the cows there, like just so much effort and thought put into this. And this is kind of in between clubs for me. It is a little downhill and there's a little breeze. I'm probably gonna end up short. So I'm gonna try and aim for the bigger, or the closer part of the screen. And see if I can get a full power shot here. And that's gonna be well short. But it stays up, so that is good. We have a shot here at getting up and down for par. Let's try and get this up and down. Get in. Oh. Got to work on my short game in this game, guys. That's a big weakness for me. Um, rather than just pitching it, I got to probably work work a flop or something there instead. So, But not a bad up and down. I mean, whenever you can get up and down, especially uh, on a shot that looked like it might go OB or into the hazard, I should say. That's uh, that's always good. This just another amazing par four. Like, look at this. Short par four, too. Drivable for some people in this game, I'm sure. With the wind, actually, it might have a real shot at getting this there. Yeah, we might actually be able to get it up there. It is a little uphill at the end, though. But just... The detail, like the planting, look at the, even just the cart path, like the way that it winds up the hill. Like imagine this course in real life. I can't even, can't even think about how awesome this course would be in real life. Those buildings, like almost castle-like buildings here. The rocks, like everything about this course is just amazing. I don't know. This one and that's way. pretty well hit. Hopefully that stays in the fairway. Should kick left a little bit. There it is. And now we've got a nice little pitch shot here for Eagle. Like I was just saying, maybe we'll try and work in a flop. Or I really love these splash shots, actually. One of my favorite shots in this entire game. So we'll go with the splash. Let's do that. I think we can get a... So it doesn't look like much of a little false front maybe, but we can get it up there. Not the greatest hit. Definitely the right type of shot for that though. So got a great look at birdie here. Try and roll this guy in. A little bit right to left again. And that's money. That's, uh, that's how it's done. Pretty stress-free birdie there. Moves us to one under through four. That's what uh, that's what I like to see. Downwind here. Gonna aim for this rough because I think the wind's just gonna carry it, and it gives us a little more fairway to work with. Should kick off that hill really nice. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta stop speaking so soon. So, kicked into the rough here, and this rough is heavy, so as you can see, four irons only gonna carry about 162 yards, so that's tough, but we're gonna try and get it to the top of that hill. Maybe we can roll down and get it close, or if not even on the green. That's the kind of shot I was looking for anyways. Hopefully it stays in the fairway. No, gonna filter back into the rough. Yeah, this course is really tough if you don't keep it in the rough. In this game in general too, but or if you don't keep it in the fairway, so great looking flop shot there. Stop, stop. Bite. 
All right, so we got a. Two oh, it is a is a par five. Like okay, so we do have a, a look for birdie here. That's uh, that's pretty good, all things considered. So a little little left to right at the beginning, and it's going to go straight at the end. So I'm going to play it a little bit outside the cup on the left. Really get that weight right. I love the way these greens run. I just didn't hit that hard enough. No, Got a little timid there. Short. So These and pins the aren't... Goes. I'm playing on, I think, the number one pins, like the first set of pins. So these also aren't the toughest pins. They could be a lot worse. Keeping that in mind as we go through this video. Because uh, some of the undulations on these greens are just insane. And some of the pin placements could be really, really nightmarish for <laughs> for certain putts if you leave it on the wrong side of the hole. So we're going to lay up with an 8-iron here. And just, like, look at this. Like, the sure houses in the background. This sort of waterfall. Elevated green. The bridges. Like... Really, there isn't a course that I've played personally like this. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to play something similar or on par with this kind of uh, creativity during this series because this is just a treat to really play, to be honest. So we got uphill. In between clubs again, uh, this 116-yard shot. I think we should be able to make it up there this time. It's a little uphill, though, so... We're going to have to swing, put a really good swing on this. The wind's taking it just a bit. Promising. Didn't really account for that enough, but that's going to be good distance. And that is a great shot. I did not expect oh, that, that to end up pin high, to be honest. So away. Nice little eight-foot slider here. Doesn't look like it's going to be too aggressive. And we pretty much split the cup there. So another birdie, two under. See if we can get a bogey-free nine. Hopefully, I didn't just jinx myself, but like, look at this sight view off the tee. That's amazing. That's just awesome. Really haven't played a course like this on uh, on this game, to be honest. And I don't think I'm going to be brave enough to take it around that. So I'm just going to go for a three wood downwind. Should get a lot of a lot of extra carry on this as opposed to usual. Carried about 250. And that sets us up, so just play these par fives smart. That's all we really need to do. Now, driver might be the play if I cut it a little bit. I don't think, I think if I bounce into that hill, I don't really know if it's going to make it up. Um, driver, we could probably uh, play a cut into this little false front kind of thing. Not really a full false front, but... Kind of play it into that and see if we can Looks bank it up into day. that. I and I didn't hit that great, that but this way. should turn no, out well. Oh my god, we got a huge bounce though, so. And it's come back. Come on. Come on. Come on. That was essentially the shot that we were looking for, so can't be too upset about that. We're on the green in two on a par five. Uh, or it is a par four, never mind, so. Damn, that's a long par four. And here we go. This is what I'm talking about with these greens. We've had it pretty easy so far for the putts. So this one's quite a slider. All this one's going to be all about pace too. So get in there. Oh wow, 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 wow! I played that quite a bit out too. Six but feet. Screens are quick. They really are. Need this to save par. And I think that's about what it will do. Get Drop in, in. Oh my gosh. All right. For the bogey. All right. Well. And let's see what the scorecard says. Gonna card a bogey there. It's gonna put you up to one under par. The classic jinx. Okay. Eighth hole. Gotta love it. Coming up. Love to see it or hate to see it, depending on uh, on who you are. And this seems like a good time to play a little bit of a cut, so it won't roll out as much. It's going to spin a little bit more. I guess this is kind of a fade, but it's getting into that cut territory. 
five iron. Yeah, I might even do that just so it. There's not a lot of. No, that's a pitch He's shot. That oh swing. my god. Oh my that. god. Oh yeah, shit. Shot on the eighth. Alrighty. Well, that's great. I'm not playing a pitch shot here for sure then. Play a lob wedge. Yeah, we'll do the lob wedge. And we'll try and rip this back. No pitch. Let's rip this back. See if we can get this to spin quite a bit out of this heavy rough. Probably dreaming about that. Oh, we got a little, oh wow. That's a, that's a quite a bit of spin for that rough that we were just in. So this would be quite the par save if we were able to do this. Don't think it's gonna go quite as much as I think. I just gotta get the pace right though. That might be short again. Get in. Oh, let's go. What a par save. What an up and down from where we were. Didn't even get to the water. We were still short of the water, so. That's a, that's a round saver right there, to be honest. All right, let's, uh, let's rip driver into this wind. I like that. We don't need a full 100% anyways. 95% is pretty good there. That wind's just taking it. But we're going to bounce right back into the fairway. These fairways are just so masterfully designed too. Just they can kick you right out of trouble or they can kick you right into the shit where you don't want to be. So pretty awesome. Don't know how much elevation is here. Not doesn't tell me on this mode, I guess, or this difficulty, but I think we're gonna take a little extra, uh, maybe not. Yeah, I think we can get up there. A little fast, pull it a little bit. A it's gotta sit. Bit long. Let's see what it's really gotta sit. And we're kinda in on the approach. That's all this right. area that is not the worst right, for this pin, shot. but a little short-sighted here. Don't have the most green to work with. I think a flop of some sort might work really well. No, too too far, or too close, I should say. All right, let's chip this into the bank a little bit. So hopefully this runs. And that run, that ran really nice. nice Alrighty, another tap and par, I think. Nice and easy. Well done. Can't be mad at those. Yeah, one under 35 through the front. All right, it's not bad. At one under after that this one. course, uh, this one's a par four it hole. says it's easy on the difficulty rating when you search it up in the game, but I wouldn't consider this exactly an easy course. So be nice to hit another fairway here. It looks like we're going to get it. Really got to stay in the fairway. And I jinxed myself again. I got to just not say anything. Careful. That's the way. Uh, that's the way golf is, right? If you say you're gonna get a birdie, or you try and get a birdie, or you say you're gonna make a putt, it's like nine times out of ten, you get humbled really fast. So this is gonna have to absolutely be crushed out of this rough. Oh come on! Have Too much club! Wow. Please come back down. No, well, hate to say it's gonna I stick up in that first so. cut fringe Just kind of area here. here, and could putt this actually. I don't know. Putting might not be a terrible idea. What a splash now! All right, yeah, you know what? We're gonna putt it. Screw it. Don't like doing this, but I kind of want to see what this does because this this green this grid is going nuts on the screen, so. I'm just going to tap this and kind of play it out over here, I think. That's got to hit the pin. Oh, my hole. God. Is it going to come back? Oh, the ball's just out for a rip right now. Okay. 
and this will save your par. car. All right, this is a little more manageable. This is a was this eighteen footer? Yeah, eighteen footer for par, more manageable, sure. The putt itself is more manageable though, so put a good roll on that. Oh wow, we're way short, eh? Didn't quite get there, did it? Gonna be a bogey to start Three the start the back. Left. Tough, not what we were hoping for. Now we're back to even. To Not exactly playing out of our minds here. All right, stepping up but honestly, in this here. series, I'm not trying to necessarily score su like super low under par. I just want to show off these courses and shoot as close to even par as I can. If I can go under or whatever, that's awesome too. But it's more about having fun and showing off these courses. So cool little done. play there. Lots of options from the tee on this course. That's a big thing too. You can almost play it a bunch of different ways, which is part of the part of the fun too, and part of just the the uh, like m amazingness of this. It's not even a word. Come on, heading for the green. All right, that's an absolute peach. No that's what we needed right good. there. Six feet to the cup. And we got a nice little putt here. This should be pretty, we should be automatic from this distance, to be honest. There's a way to bounce and that's bird in for bird. We're back to one under. Let's go. Three birdies, two bogeys, one under. Let's see what we can do here. Just a, look at a mountain backdrop too, just a little moose there, ball washer, like this is just, so, there's just so much thought put into this. There's really no space wasted, like an apartment looking complex almost there or something, or, or a prison, kind of looks like a prison. And I think that should be... We're gonna get pretty aggressive with this. The wind should stop it up just a bit, but we should still carry there. No, we're gonna be short, wow. Oh, big kick off the hill, go in. Go in, oh man. Good little shot there. That would have been sweet. Have yet to make a hole in one in this game actually, so that would have been awesome. Made one uh, on the golf club, had a few on the golf club but I uh, have not had one on this game yet, so it's just going to snap right right at the down. end. And that's back-to-back -back birds. So let's go. Right, Fire me up. Let's get her going. Best of luck here on this par, five. par five coming up right here. Let's go. This one is sweet. This is a sweet hole. Yeah, I remember this one. Ooh, looks like we're going to the fairway. Lots of fairway. Cut that corner just right. All uphill too, like just so much thought. I know I keep on saying okay, it, but just can't believe how much thought's been put head. into this. This is a wild, uh, wild fairway too. Like it just looks like it's gonna run forever. So yeah, three wood might end up on the rough behind the friggin' pin for God's sake. So I'm gonna rip a five wood and hopefully catch that slope. Hopefully that really goes, actually. That's really gotta go, okay. Yeah, probably could have uh, hit a three wood and maybe shaped it or something, but that's fine. We're right there. I forgot that green was kind of protected from that shot. hill, so for to prevent exactly what I just tried to do, literally is what, uh, what he didn't want anyone to be able to do, so. Oh, would have been nice to get that in. Got to work on the short game, though. That's unacceptable, to be honest. Feet to deal with. Leaving ourselves an 11-footer still with some break, too. Yeah, it's going to move quite a bit, but I don't want to overplay this. Part of me wants to really aim it out more right, but the weight is right. It should just line. go right in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Man, second guessed myself, and that's what happens. This isn't a gimme for par either, but. Alright. Almost got to card three straight birdies. That would have been sweet, but. On to 14, par three, another cool par three. All the par threes are awesome. And we're basically in the middle of like a village in the mountains right now, which is pretty cool. I was going to say Alps, but I'm not sure if uh, that's Austria or not. And I don't want to, uh, don't want to just start saying shit. So, swing was to die for. but yeah, we're basically in the middle of like an Austrian village, which is awesome. Stay. What's well, unlucky? Missed the green on that approach. Cool view of the last hole there too. Setting that's awesome. The green side rough. All right, nice little, nice, nice little chip, chip there. That's exactly what we need. That's the kind of short game that I'm looking for. That's what's gonna, that's what's gonna get us those birdies and maybe even some eagles if we put ourselves in the right position off the tee and on the, on the second shot. Short par five. Par five. This one's another spectacular hole. Really, just like tempts you, eh, to go for it. See if you can bend it around. I might have some fun with this one just because. What the hell? So it's fast, so that's gonna hook even more. Yeah, it's really gonna hook. Please don't hit that tree. Oh, would you look at that? That just went through the tree, I think. So that was fortunate. I guess the trees are not too hard here. I don't know. Our trees, uh, our trees, more airy in Austria than they are in real life. All right, we're on in two. Let's go. Well, that's just fine golf playing there. That's uh, on the green in under regulation. Well done. And you've got this left for your eagle. All right, we got a putt for eagle. Can't be mad about that. Um. By the looks of that, maybe we should just be chipping it, to be honest. Should we hit a splash shot and just take a friggin' seven inch divot out of the screen? I think so, actually. A little uphill there. I don't know, that's gonna run out a little bit. Maybe let's try and get this in. Let's try and put this in the hole. Stop, stop, yeah. I knew it. And we just ruined their greens. Sorry, Corinthia Club, but uh, we're probably not gonna be able to come back. That's probably it. Luckily, we're playing solo right now. I'm, I don't, don't see any other people around. Okay, we really overread that one. Time to finish up on this one. Screens are in my head now. And just tapping that one putting pretty pass. well, but now they're in my head. Two and under through 15. Let's see what happens this hole 16. is awesome. Just this mountainside, cliffside village here, the waterfalls. Just so much going on at all times. Every Every shot, really has something going on and this is going to be in the water. Our swing has not been good today. Oh, that's, uh, off track. See you later to that and ball. I guess we, yeah, we'll go three off the tee. Setting up for our third shot. Have not swung the club very well. Are you kidding me? This one's do we just do it again? Off, I think. Stay in play, please. Okay. Setting up here for your I'm really not swinging the club well. Got to pick it up here. Looking at probably double at best on this hole. All right, we're out of the dirty stuff into the short stuff here. Let's uh, let's regroup. Let's play the splash shot again.
and that's just going to release to about six feet and here we probably. Go for the double yeah, six feet, and we'll knock that in for double hopefully. This putt's good so far. Good okay. On that, one. that is the kind of putt that we want, okay. just not when it's All for right. double bogey. Moment. See if you can. Use the wind 17th on this hole. par three right. picturesque probably would be like the signature hole or one of them <laughs> all these could really be signature holes for this but this would be my signature hole i think for this course and there we go we hit a better shot that's on, should be about pin high three. yeah yeah that's gonna work for you stopped I'm it up pretty that. good all right, eight feet and this is the yeah, exactly the kind of putt that we want. Just a nice little right to left, a little uphill. Ooh. Didn't hit that, All and right. this Our is turning pass. into a little bit of a right. of a debacle Hold. right now. Let's move to the next. Okay, you're gonna stay Could have right easily ripped this course up in certain so in certain holes. Here. So on to eighteen, playing back towards. I don't even know what the, if that's the clubhouse or whatever, but. And lots of fairway here, so luckily no water, no three off the tee here. Rolling that out to 335, casual 335 drive for the old man. about 210 from the pin. And four iron should play perfect on this, I hope. That should be good. If it stays up. Yeah, these greens are slick. These are slick. That's got to stay. Oh, boy. This is what I mean about this course, though. I don't think it's necessarily the easiest as they want to say right so that's going to be in the water and we're probably not going to shoot even par right. now this is your fourth shot the drop zone behind the water though that's super cool that's almost worth that that shot going in the water is actually worth this, this because now you can see this creative drop zone that they've made that's awesome that's really cool I'm not even mad that that happened anymore. Or as mad as I was about 10 seconds ago. Get in the hole. It's gonna roll right out, eh? Yeah, these greens are pretty wild. Definitely tough, but fair greens. I mean, they're definitely not unfair. I think uh, if anyone's played any of these user-created courses, especially some of the really outrageous ones, you really oh, the greens just aren't fair. But the greens on this course are pretty Both fair for the most part. And, and we finally didn't hit a bad putt that time. An and we're gonna finish even. even nice 72. The the good job out there. And with not that, bad. Not you? not good. We'll not great. But not bad. Right. I would say okay. I'd call that okay. 70% uh, almost fairways. 55% in green and red. That's it's got to be higher if we're gonna go under par for sure. So at least with these kinds of greens, we weren't really leaving ourselves in the best positions. So, but yeah, I mean overall, quite the course. Definitely check it out. Would encourage you all to check it out. Definitely worth the play. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is the first of many to come for uh, this top 100 courses ranking playthrough kind of thing. Probably not gonna actually rank them, but you, you, you get the gist of it. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, I'll be back with number two when I decide what that is gonna be, so. Have a good one and I will see you guys in the next video.